If you get too hot, wave two hands and we'll turn the fans back on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. If everything goes right and you become president, will you commit to firing everybody in the government who had a hand in the four-year persecution of Donald Trump? All the lies, all the baloney, I would use a bigger word, but... Uh, Baloney's fine. Okay. Uh, will, you, will you do that? Because that's the person I'll support, um, but if someone will not do that, I will not give that person my support. That's an easy answer. Absolutely yes. And I will go one step further for you. Because this is a system. So, so the, that's the easy part, actually. Here's the hard part. That Leviathan, that monster, we fall into the trap of thinking it's just individuals. It's a machine that's actually bigger than any one of those individuals. In fact, this is the hard part. <laughs> Many of them in their private lives when they go home, I'm sure, I have full confidence they're good people in their own lives. Most people are inherently good as individuals. But when you create a machine that should have never existed in the first place, that exists outside of the bounds of the three-branch constitutional republic, we set into motion, that's when you create a demon that's actually far bigger than any of the one of the human beings comprising it is, it is what Hobbes called that Leviathan. So I believe you cannot tame that Leviathan. We have to slay the Leviathan. So I've said at the end of the first term, we will have a 75% headcount reduction across all federal employees, 50% of that by the end of the first year in office. This is not incremental reform. We have to take quantum leaps. That's the kind of authority we're going to need. So, so the fact that they're going after Trump now, still, this many years later, is sad. I was actually, yesterday I was in Nashville. This morning, I was actually at the courthouse where he's being arraigned because I happened to be in Washington, D.C., and I went there to give a brief speech about the revival of truth in government. But the fact that they're still going after him is still the best evidence we have that we haven't solved that problem. So, so one of the things that he ran into, and I, I believe in learning from the foundations laid before me, I don't need to relearn the same lessons, was that they said there's these civil service protections that stop you from firing people. And I do think it takes an outsider. I'm a CEO. I didn't come from government. I have not earned a government paycheck in my life. And, you know, if I can manage to do it while I'm U.S. president, I'll try to keep it that way, actually, because you don't need to get tainted by what you get addicted to. But what they say is you can't fire other people in the, in the federal government. It turns out you also need somebody who understands the law and the constitution of this country. Read the law. The civil service protections apply to individual firings to stop a president from firing an individual because I disagree with your views on a political topic if you're working at the SEC or whatever. They do not apply to mass layoffs. And mass layoffs are absolutely what I am bringing to the federal bureaucracy in Washington, D.C. So that's actually why we already have the legal authority to do it. We just need a president with a spine to carry it through. That's what I'm bringing. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it.